Hello and welcome back to the stained canvas. Uh, today I'm going to be using up some of these old collage papers. These are just some leftover papers that I don't really enjoy very much. So that's why they're kind of at the bottom of the pile. And I thought it would be fun to do some uh, jelly printing with plants. So I have a box of plants here and I've got all kinds of things. I've got grasses, uh, you know, uh, some I think it's, I'm not sure what this vine is called. It's like, uh, not wisteria, but I don't know. It's some kind of vine that I have growing on my fence, one of my fences. Um, I even have dandelions in here. So I thought it would be fun, uh, even with clover, uh, whatever you find outside that's softish that you can mold. Um, I have some grass here and it's got like some of the seeds on top. I thought that might be fun. Each one of these prints, because it were using plants as a mask. So we're going to come out with two different kind of collage papers with each print. So this one here, I'm putting my plants on top of a very bright orangey kind of color. And I just want to place them kind of perfectly the way I want. And then I'm going to take one of my collage papers after I get this all set up here. I'm going to take a collage paper and I'm going to, um, put it on top and I'll show you. So this collage paper is the blue one. So I chose orange because it's going to pop. So um, it's going to make kind of like a negative print. So a negative print is essentially just the outside shapes are going to be uh, printed on and you'll see that in a moment and then after the negative print is the ones that I like the best and it's the ghost prints so here's what I'm talking about with the negative print is you just essentially get the shape of the plant or of whatever you're deciding to jelly print that day so today I have the negative of this and it makes such a striking paper I think that's going to be really great to cut up and use in collage and then I took off the greenery and you'll see here I have all this wonderful orange ghost print and it's got all the very fine details of each little piece of the of the plant. So this is the one I'm all excited about. So I decided to do a translucent translucent yellow. That's a hard word today. And then I'm just going to lift it off on a white clean piece of paper. I want white and clean because I want this to be kind of like the artwork itself is the veins and all the really cool things that are in the plant. So I'm going to give this a push for a while and make sure it's all lifted up really well and let it dry a little bit on the paper. And then when you pull it up, you'll see if you go very carefully, um, sometimes you get some still on there. See that? But it's fine. Uh, I could clean that up with another piece of paper. but take a look at how wonderful you get all the little marks of the plants inside here like you can see each little seed of the grass on the top there and all the really cool lines and the leaves and so we're going to try this again with a different piece of plant and i think i used the vine in this one yes i love this vine I forget what it's called. It's not a poisonous or whatever. It makes little berries in the fall that the birds like to eat. And for the life of me, I can't remember what it's called. It's actually on my neighbor's fence that shares my lawn. But I really loved all these like long vine and all these little trellisy things. Like they has lots of these little long cool things in it. And I thought it would be a really excellent uh, mask and an excellent print once it's finished. So I'm going to go over it with uh, the green because purple and green are kind of fun together I think and I use a roller because this is quite a thick plant but this is going to be the negative so this isn't going to be the part where I have all the really cool lines this is just I'm gonna have really cool green so see how wonderful that turned out that's I even like that just like that but that's gonna make an excellent excellent collage paper so vibrant with that dark purple and then I'm going to take the greenery off of my gel plate very carefully because I don't want to uh, mess up any of the really cool veins or marks that the plant itself 
left. So look how wonderful it doesn't even have paper on it yet. Um, and this one I'm going in with a yellow because the yellow is the complement to the purple. So the purple is going to turn out to be kind of like this maroony brown color. And I kind of really like that. And I wanted to pick up some more of the grunge. So here's the print. I mean, it's, it's fantastic. I love how it turned into its own kind of really kind of cool artwork here. Um, and you can do this with anything. I would not try it with something that has, uh, you know, uh, like a rose bush has thorns. Don't try it with thorns. You might actually injure your uh, yourself for one and your gel plate. You might actually make holes in your gel plate and you really don't want to do that. You want to, you know, they're expensive. So you want to kind of save them. And this is one I did with uh, dandelions because I thought, you know what, dandelions, a little bit of grass. I think it looks quite neat. And um, I hope you try this out uh, on your own. Uh, go search in your backyard. Look for some really cool things. Um, yeah, the ones I find that didn't work out so great were the clovers. I think they were too small to, uh, for me to pick up properly. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this. I hope you try something new. Remember, don't use thorns or anything prickly on your gel plate because you will make a mess and you will hurt your gel plate. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time on the Stain Canvas. Bye-bye for now.